Hey guys, it's James Barber. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk about rejection. Everybody gets rejected. It's ingrained in us from the time we're very, very young until we're adults and it continues on in our work life and our, our personal lives. What do I mean by this? Well, it, it starts as simple as this. You remember when you go to the amusement park and you go to Disney World and you want to go on a Space Mountain? or one of these great rides, and you're dreaming about it, you got this goal, right? It's all encompassing. And then you get up to the line, and the ride operator puts you up against that measuring stick, and you're just that much too small, just that much, just that much too small. And they say, I'm sorry, you're, you're too small to go on the ride. And your dreams are dashed. You remember how you felt? You know, I remember how I felt. And then you gotta wait, and you gotta wait in hope, in hope that you're gonna measure up the next time, right? So it's ingrained in us from very, very early on. And then it carries on into our lives with our friendships. We start questioning why things are happening, why this person is rejecting me, our relationships, our boyfriends, girlfriends, spouses, significant others, whatever it is, divorce, all of these kinds of things that we go through. And we constantly are, are, are self-abnegating or, 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 or berating ourselves or beating ourselves up because we think we're not good enough. What did I do? I'm unworthy. Well, here's the one thing I want you to understand, okay? You are worthy and you are good enough. And specifically for you artists, we've chosen a career where rejection happens on a daily basis. It is part of our lives. It is the profession that we have chosen. And we set ourselves up to be rejected because the competition is so high. I mean, think about this for you guys who aren't artists. You want to become an NFL player. You want to be an NBA player. You think about all the people that want to be these superstars in these in these athletic fields and the skill set that you have to have to play at that level and sustain at that level, right? Well, here's the difference. As an artist, it's arbitrary. Yeah, you have to have the skill set. Make no mistake, that is a given, right? You have to, have to, have to have that skill set. If you're not willing to work at that level, if you're not willing to continue to work at that level like these professional athletes eat well, they go to the gym, they constantly, constantly practice, you know, they, they look at playbooks, they, they, they work their butt off to stay at that level. Well, that is a given in any chosen field. You have to play at that level, right? But that's a given. You, as an artist, are putting yourself out there in a way that is unlike most other professions. You're opening yourself up, you're opening your heart up, you're opening your soul up, only to set yourself up to be judged. Judged, right? So if you go in for an audition, or you put your artwork out there, or you've written a song, or you've designed this amazing dress, or you've taken amazing photographs, whatever your artistic endeavor is, and then it's getting judged. And you're sitting there putting it out for people to make an arbitrary decision. And it's not based on statistics. It's not based on, hey, I scored this many points and this person scored this many points and I scored more than this person did, so I win the game. That's not what it's based on. It's based on subjective and objective opinion, right? So here's the deal. This is what I want you to remember. As long as you are working at a very, very high level and you're prepared and you're bringing your A game, the rejection is not about you. It's not about you, right? Art is arbitrary, but you know what your heart and soul are trying to create. So when you leave a room after an audition, don't go home and beat yourself up if you didn't get it. Don't go home and say, what did I do? How did I fail? Think about, okay, good. I didn't get this gig this time. What can I do to change that for the next time, right? Put it in place, use it as a learning tool rather than a failing tool, right? You didn't fail, you learned. You didn't hit the mark that you wanna hit, right? So you gotta go back, just like when you were a kid. Okay, I came a little short. I go back, I think about what it is, I grow during that time intellectually, artistically, spiritually, however you wanna talk about it, you know, emotionally. And then you attack that problem from a new vantage point. And when you go back to that next audition, you would have grown enough and you may get it. So I want you to take that into play. Instead of thinking about it as rejection, think about it in terms of a learning experience. Take what you did, go back, reevaluate, write down all the points. Can I choose a different song? Can I choose different material? Can I prepare better? Actually go and maybe look at the people who got the job or whose art was chosen, whose dress was picked, and think, okay, what did they do? What did they do to get where they're going to be? Find the people that have achieved what you want to achieve, follow them, follow their path, because they got there for a reason, guys. Remember. You are good enough, and rejection is a learning tool. Thanks for watching.